and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Um, gonna take a little bit of time because time is all we have right now. Now we actually don't have a lot of time. We got some time, but we ain't got that type of time. You know what I'm saying? That's right, I said that type of time. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I did a video yesterday. See, same rolling blocks. I did a video yesterday. And when I finished that video, it turns out I put up some information. The actual serial number and key code to the new product that I just purchased. And I couldn't put that video up because I know some stupid mother would try to copy my information. I just knew that some stupid, ignorant mother would try to do that. And so I had to splice that from the video. Oh, Lord. That took some time. Because it just didn't want me to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, see these seconds right here? Eight seconds. See that right there? That's the part where I put the information. That's where I put it. And so I ain't showing that part to you because this is the splicing of the video. It was eight more minutes. That's all it was, eight minutes. We're going to show y'all the eight minutes, okay? I just want y'all to understand because some of the information at the end was impotent. That's what I said, impotent. Okay, so I just need y'all to hold on. And you know what? Before I go into that, I do need to say something. Do you really need to say it? Oh, no, I need to say this. Oh, well, then go right ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been noticing that a lot of the wine heads and the crackheads and the woe-mongers and the whole-mongers and the necromongers are gone. They not here no more, most of them. Some of them are still here. They got some scouts and some stragglers. But most of the ignorant people who were watching my videos, most of them appear to be gone. And I say, praise the Lord on this Sunday. Praise the Lord. Because I've been hoping to get rid of those mother... I can't stand their ignorance. I can't stand that YouTube mentality. Those of you who watch my videos, you should know one thing. I don't go by that junk. I don't listen to nobody else, somebody just talking. And you know, in 1933, the United States went bankrupt. Oh, don't worry about it, I ain't gotta show it to you. You should already know this. And then after they went bankrupt, they sent somebody to the moon. And they got proof they sent somebody to the moon because the outline of the little pod that they sent them in was aluminum. And back then, aluminum was some new metal, even though it had been in the earth for millions upon billions upon years. They sent them to the moon in a tin can, and they went through those radiation belts, and they survived, and we got proof. No, I don't need to show you no proof. You already should know this. And then to get somebody out of jail, all you got to do is do a GS form. And uh, G, 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 S, A, I'm sorry, G, A, S, I don't know who got gas. But anyway, you just need to do a G, S, A form. And when you do the G, S, A form, you just got to sit at home and wait for that person to come walking through the door because that G, S, A form will get them out of jail. And your birth certificate, that mother is a bond. So you can take that and you can write on it. Pay to the order of the United States of America without recourse and deposit it in your bank account. That's right, because it's a bond. And you can deposit a bond into your bank. No, I don't know about anybody depositing bonds in the bank accounts, because I know the banks don't do it and the, the regular corporations don't do it, but you can do it. Trust me, because I said you can do it. You can do it. And so many people listen to videos with people saying stupid things like that. And they follow it. And they go off to the races. It has been my motto. No, I am going to show you. By the way, ever since I've been adding this to my videos, whew, <laughs> people, when you talk about the Bible, it's like an insecticide. Raid! They run 
all of the roaches run, and I am so grateful for that. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We're going to go to First Thessalonians. I know where this scripture is. I started to put the phrase up there, but this is one of my Willie Williams. He says, look, I see the way you are. I see your personality. He says, so I'm going to give you something. I said, Willie, what you going to give me? He says, I'm going to give you a scripture, and I want you to hold on to this scripture because this is going to be the scripture that's going to define your life. I said, Willie, how you know this is going to be the scripture that's going to define my life? He says, because I just told you, ignorant mother. I said, hey, wait, Willie, you ain't supposed to be cursed. I didn't curse, he said. He said, you should pay attention next time. I didn't use a single curse word. Willie Williams didn't say that in those words, but this is what Willie Williams said. He says, I want you to learn this scripture, and I want you to know it by heart the next time you and I meet, which will be a week from today. Make sure of all things. Hold fast to that. What is fine is what the King James Version says. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure of all things. Hold fast to what is fine. What is fine? Scripture. Truth. God's word. That's fine. That's what he's referring to. Then it says, it's staying for every, 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 every form of wickedness. But the problem is to make sure of all things. Make sure of all things. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys need to follow that very same admonition to make sure of the information. That's why I tell you, don't take my word for it. Go and do your own research. People don't listen. And so they get themselves in trouble. There was this young lady, and I will only say her first name. Her name was Amanda. Amanda did an hour style money order. She went to the car dealership, and she got three cars. Three cars! So for those of you guys who don't think it works, you must be out of your mother. I mean, you must be out of your minds. The only problem is Amanda didn't do her research. She didn't listen to the videos. She listened to one video. Ladies and gentlemen, my videos are secessions. You see how I'm talking about the last video that I just did and I'm playing the ending of that video? My videos are secessional. They follow one behind the other. Where should I start? Go back to the beginning. In the beginning was the word. No, not that beginning. Oh, in the beginning, God created. That's the beginning you got to go back to. The foundation, people. You don't start from the middle. Many of you are coming to this channel starting from the middle. My people, my people have been here for too long. They don't start from the middle. They start from here and now because they already started from the bottom. Now they made it to the top. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, it is highly essential and important that you all pay attention to the words that I say because I don't just say any words. A young lady contacted me and she says, I've listened to your videos. And she says, I noticed that you give bits and pieces, but you don't tend to give the whole picture. Ladies and gentlemen, because the picture is bits and pieces. It is a jigsaw puzzle to begin with. It was never supposed to be a whole picture. You got If you want a whole picture, you got to go to Whole Foods. I'm sure that they got a bunch of pictures in there full of all kind of stuff. Like I got a picture right here, and it's full of some mango juice. That's right. So Whole Foods going to have a picture for you. Hold on. Mmm, that is some good nectar. Sorry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm an idiot. We're going to go ahead and play the last part of that video. I'm going to interfere every once in a while because it's eight minutes. You know, I can't keep quiet for no eight minutes. Hold on. That information is because of the internet registration. So, oh well. Yeah, once it's registered, they just don't do what they do but they're going to be canceling that number because I can't register on the internet. So it's registered. It's registered.
It's registered. Let me go back and talk to you for a second. And we're at one minute, 27 seconds. I mean, one minute, uh, one hour and 27 minutes. I'm going to go back and get rid of that section. Sorry, I can't leave that up. So we got the one hour, 27 minutes, all the way to 25 seconds. Um, yeah, I'm going to delete that so you guys won't have that because I know some people are going to be tempted. And I haven't called the company yet. And the video will be up before I call the company. So I got to delete that. And the courts cannot enforce an illegal act. That act is unconstitutional when applied to you. Your personal expenses are yours to control. Nobody gets to regulate your personal business. But it's called personal business. Ain't that why they're regulating it? Because it's a business? No. For you have the right to endeavor in a personal venture. Nobody can stop that. You have the right to be self em Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I went to draw the blinds and the shades because I need to get some light in here. And, and it's morning time, 7.45. And when I did that, the headset reset itself. And I didn't tell it to do so. So let me make sure of one thing. Because I walked away and it, I guess it thought I didn't want to play no more. I'm going to have to talk to that headset. I like the headset. It's a, it's a unique headset. And the surround sound in the headset is, it's like, perfect. But, you know, it's an off-brand, it's probably a name brand, but it's an off-brand for me. And so I just got to check something. Y'all don't mind? That's what I'm doing right here. See, this is my checking. Checking, checking, checking. I got to see if that thing right there, see, that's what I'm looking for. Just to make sure we on the right team. All right, yeah, we're we doing all right. All right, now let me go ahead and continue. Hold on, Ian. Hold on. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who didn't watch the video, because many of you don't watch it till the end, and that's your fault. Ladies and gentlemen, for your income tax, pay attention. It's income. Pay attention to the word income. That means funds coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, you only pay taxes on your total income. What you don't understand is if you have expenses like cost of living. No, we're not talking about luxury. Oh, I got entertainment expenses. No, sorry. Well, I got the right to enjoy myself so I can do entertainment. Yes, technically you technically you can. Technically you can pull out the monies for entertainment and not be taxed on it because you have the right to the enjoyment of life. Showed you the case law yesterday. You have the right to the enjoyment of life and entertainment is for your enjoyment. However, I just wanna focus on your cost of living. We've already shown you several videos on the cost of living. You cannot be taxed on the cost of your life because you have the right to life. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's a secured right, you cannot be taxed for it. What happens is that the courts, Congress, and the government employees have decided that they want to get as much money out of your pockets as they possibly can to leave you destitute. To leave you destitute. Why? Because as long as you're struggling, you cannot focus on them. You cannot go after them. Look at what they did to appease the American people. I want you to pay attention. There was a lot of discord in the common community. All of last year you had black lives don't matter no more. Well, they don't matter anymore, not now. You don't hear nothing about no black lives matter, but you were hearing it all last year. George Floyd, anybody talking about him anymore? Michael Brown, anybody talking about him anymore? Trayvon Martin, anybody talking about him anymore? That's what they, they knew that you guys were gonna forget. No, they distracted you. Threw a presidency at you, told you that some idiot was trying to take over the government. If Donald Trump, pay attention to this, you all. If Donald Trump was really for real, all Donald Trump had to do was take control. He had the authority to do so as president. Donald Trump could have demanded, he didn't have to go through the court system. He was the executive. He could have brought the military in to count those ballots. He could have, but what did he do? He decided he wanted to go through the court system, a system that had not given him anything its entire presidency. There are so many things he had the power to do. Like I told people, I know for a fact that his family members were threatened. I know for a, a fact that those people, including his prodigy, were threatened. Go ahead. You want to play with us? Watch and see what we do. Employed. And Nobody he would have died in that. office. Nobody can stop you from being You don't believe me? If you guys no think one that Donald Trump was running that. anything, so ladies and you gentlemen, must be out of your everybody mind. Everybody keeps asking me. They only allowed him to do money? all of that stuff money? because it was I all a distraction. Just like Biden. Money. Biden the is a distraction. He's not the president of the United States. It's because you're not following the CEO your taxes. does Go not control the company when there is a board. Every single year, your Y'all need to pay attention. Some of you going to be stupid. The United States is a some corporation and it is ran by a board. You know you didn't do and you not ain't by got, a CEO. You can't prove. You going to get stupid attention. and you deserve everything you get after being stupid. Y'all really need to pay attention. The stupid person has no excuse. structure works. Especially when he was told not to do So we're going to get back to anyway. Whether or not you Adam owe and Eve, anybody. taxes, any amount they claim you so, owe. Ladies and gentlemen. Did a video yesterday, honest, and in that video, we pointed out refund. 
that yes, the yes, courts yes, have they said. Might balk, they not might us. Say, Wait a minute, hold the on. courts have said you have to appeal it. That the IRS operates. Under Congress didn't intend this. Act. Congress didn't intend that. A and it A. talked about Section Five of the, the US adoption Code. clause. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go back and watch that part of the video and see that the stupid law that the court was referring to had nothing to do with the case. But they threw that junk in there. Those of you who believe, well, the court made a ruling, and you believe the junk that they put on those papers, you must be out of your mind. You need to read the case. You need to see what they're referring to because they are throwing sleight of hand. The court threw a presumption, and nobody challenged them on that stupid presumption. Okay? You should start calling it piss junction, because that's all it is, is somebody pissing on something. Oh, you said piss? Oh, that's a bad word! That's right, because I done been pissed off for so long. Well, my, my friend Tyrone used to say it's better to be pissed off than to be pissed on. You know, he was right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with Eon. Say it again, Eon. Ladies and gentlemen, basically what's being said there is that many of you are not going to even attempt. So I'm going to tell you how you can do your taxes if you chose to. Let's say there is a seven-year limit. You can only go back seven years. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what you don't understand is there are technicalities that y'all have no clue of. Let's say I want to go back all the way back to 97, all the way up until now. Well, all I got to do is a carryover. Carryover, the carryover, the carryover. Because why? 97, the carryovers were for 20 years. Then they changed the carryover short after that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I got a warning light. And you can hear it. That's my warning. It's letting me know. It's saying, hey, homie, uh, that's my solar system, and I just need to come check. What's happening is there is not a lot of sunlight being generated at 8 o'clock because my panels are directed for 9 to 5 because I don't have rotating panels, so I have them set up to where they do a full 8 hours and they pull more than enough energy for those eight hours because I only have five panels set up. I have five more that I need to set up. Right now, the panels are pulling over 1,500 kilowatts. Okay? So that's what they can pull in on a daily basis. And so that was letting me know that the sun will come up tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. What if it's cloudy? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And under the APA, they must give you a right to a hearing. If I wanted to go back to 1997, to before what's called an and let's say in 1997, 
the carryover is only lasted for 20 oh, years. Way, you get the charge that means I can go to 2017. But so however, don't don't let's say in 2006, I don't know if it was 2006 or 2001 look, or 2015, because I don't if care. You just listen to the but video, they made the carryovers taxes. go for write infinity because they wanted to help the corporations out because they did the carryovers. You, you, you guys don't. To pay, remember, and ladies and gentlemen, living, when you do your taxes, now if you I were to do the carryovers from 97 living, and then and carry them forward, remaining, to That's 95, the then carry them Your forward, is I mean, not 95, and <laughs> carry them taxes. forward to 2005, would... and then keep carrying it over all the way up until 2020, and I documented this, there was nobody that can challenge me on that. Yeah, fine, because I'm going all the way back to that time, I'd have to go into court, but I rebut the presumption because that's my right. I get to carry it forward because the law says I get to carry it forward. But it only says for 20 years. Yes, and here's the point. When they extended that to eternity, because now the carry forwards are forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That means I get to keep carrying it forward. I don't have to go back seven years. I don't have to do an amended filing. I just have to document the carryovers, put them on my current taxes. And if you're saying I owe any money, there are several people I know who have been contacting me saying that the IRS is saying that they owe money. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have carryovers. All you got to do is go back and write off all of your expenses for that year. And offset that debt. The IRS and Treasury has what's known as a T.O.P. Top. You remember T.T.O.P.P.? They have a T.O.P. program. Treasury offset program, people. They offset debt all the time. You have the right to offset your debt with them. All right, let's let Eon talk some more. HR Brock, I need my taxes done. Huh? Now, here, here are my expenses. What you mean I can't do that? Well, I tell you what. I need you to do the taxes, all right? When you're finished, you're going to give them to me. Don't file them. You just give them to me. No, I got it. And then you deduct your expenses from that. You take your expenses and do them as a write-off. You know what I think the problem was? I had the installment it up again. Uh oh, it looked like I, I ain't going to be able to find it, y'all. Yeah, I I ain't going to be able to find it. Ain't nothing there neither. Let's see if it's out here. Let's see. Household goods, consumer goods. Let's find out. I think it's here, y'all. Let's see if it's let's see if it's here. I think it's here. No, no, I, I'm I'm pretty certain it's here. I mean, it could have been there, but I think it's here. Further, the goods in question are not consumer goods, i.e. goods used and bought for primarily for personal, family, and household purposes. So do yourselves a favor, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about saving y'all some money and y'all taxes. Y'all need to start educating yourself. You, Charlie Charlie, 9-102. And then we hit enter, and then it's going to give us Cornell Law Review. It's going to be the first one to come up. You know why? Because they have the official authority of doing the United States codes and other junk. It ain't popped up yet. That's the shame. Where, where is it? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It ain't gonna let me see it. Uh oh, I gotta pause y'all while I get this thing to do right. Do right, do right, woman. Well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I did is I didn't know y'all let me put an X in there. What I didn't, wasn't even trying to put no UCC X. What's, what's wrong with that? X going to give it to you. Going to give it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, UCC 9-102, Section 23, consumer goods means goods that are used or bought for use primarily for personal, family, household purposes. Okay? Just that simple. You don't need to know anything else because this is under Article 9. Do you know what Article 9 was designed for? Do you know why they did Article 9 of the United States Code, I mean, the uh, Uniform Commercial Code? Do, does anybody know? For mortgages. All of your mortgages, when you buy the home for primary personal use, it's tax exempt, people. Just go ahead and do the research on why Article 9 exists. Now, watch this. We did household goods. This is me proving to you what I'm saying. Anybody contradicts what I'm saying, then you go ahead and tell them to prove you wrong. Because guess what? The law can't contradict itself. Once it contradicts itself, it cancels itself out. E X E M P T. I just put exempt. I'm not gonna say exemptions. I said exempt. Tick tock, tick tock, tippity do. Tick tock, tick tock, tickity do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, section nine dash one oh nine is your exemption section. Okay. Oh, by the way, to show you about Article 9 of the U.S. Codes, security interests arising under Article 2 or 2A, Part 2, effectiveness of security agreements. Effectiveness of security agreements. Mortgage-backed securities, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, I don't want to know our government creditors exempt. Uh, Uniform Commercial Code, security interest created. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I need exempt. I need exempt. And I want to show you guys the proof of the exemption section of the Uniform Commercial Code. It excludes it excludes transactions from coverage on the Uniform Commercial Code when the government agency is the debtor or borrower, not when it is a secured party. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for issued debt on which the interest is exempt from income taxation under the laws of the United States, okay? Principal obligation is monetary, the sale of which is exempt from the filing. And let's see, to give you a better understanding of the exemption clause, we're going to go with, this is for you guys to see, House Bill 1778, 1778, New 
Hampshire. House Bill 1778 NH for New Hampshire. This is New Hampshire House Bill. Now we can go to two different sites. We can go to Legiscan or we can go to not that open state one. Not that one. No. No. Why well, we gonna be going to the top one? Hey, look at that! SAA Limited! Help with corporate owners to contract. Oh my stars! They got the Senate bill right there. Okay. Here we go. This is how we do it. Come on now, hurry up. This is how we do it. Oh, I don't think that I forgot about the music. What we're gonna do? Uh uh. We going we going to play that in a second, but right now my computer did not has everything. So let's do media and let's put that back on and let's go back and let's go back. Sorry, I'm working on the phone right now. So y'all have to excuse me. I'm trying to multitask. I ain't very good at that, y'all. So we're going to play the Temptations. And they talking about men. They they like yelling at them. Hey, Temps. Y'all hear it? On Christmas morning. This is the Temptations, y'all. You know, I never knew this song spoke about Christmas and all that, so I don't do Christmas junk. I'm sorry. I, I don't do it. It's just not what I play. Why? Because it's a pagan holiday. I don't do the pagan thing, y'all. I done told you all that. New Hampshire House Bill. Prior session legislation. Now, you'll find that initially the bill didn't pass. <gasps> but it was only an amendment to a pre-existing law. Okay? Now look, relative to registration of commercial motor vehicles and operator driver's licenses. You don't want an operator's license. Whenever you get a ticket, you are charged with operating a motor vehicle and violating the code. You don't want to be operating a motor vehicle. Just that, just that simple, people. Okay, here is the section that we need to pay attention to. Here is the section that we need to pay attention to. Okay, statement of purpose. The courts find that the authority of the Department of Safety to limit is limited only to commercial use of the public ways. So the Department of Vehicle, Motor Vehicles, sorry, only has authority to over commercial use of the public ways. Not the corporate state employees, by their silence to inform you of this, have failed to fully inform you, a member of the sovereign people, the group known as the people of this state, that an automobile has been confirmed by Justice Grimes, in this case right here, involving a Dodge Dart, to be private property defined under UCC. Article 9, Section 109, that's what I didn't put. I didn't put private property. That's the exemption part, okay? As household goods, consumer goods, not for profit or for gain. Okay, so it's Article 9 that's household goods, okay? Article, no, Article 2 is household goods, consumer goods. Article 9 is the exemption. Further, the courts have found that the corporate public servants by their ignorance and their accountability, as mandated by the Bill of Rights, have by their ignorance and silence failed to fully inform the sovereign people. See, this is a group. This is not a person. This is a group. It's not the sovereign person. It's the sovereign people, the group. Of the consequences arising from the corporate offers to contract, which is deemed silent deception and inducement to fraud. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to put control F and 
want y'all to pay attention. We don't, I didn't ask for sovereign people. Oh, I did that before, didn't I? Okay, we're going to put eat. Okay. Now, watch this. Household goods, consumer goods has the same meaning as the Uniform Commercial Code found at UCC 9-102 and shall include an automobile. Automobiles and all non-commercial conveyances shall be exempt. Why? Because they're private property. The government has no jurisdiction over private property. Let's go back up to the other exempt. Uh, you, exemption. See? Your private property under the Uniform Commercial Code exemption for consumer and household goods. If your car is exempt, so is your house, people. Under the Uniform Commercial Code, not under the IRC, the Internal Revenue Code, and their mandates and their policies. This is the law. It has been the law. Congress has no authority. And guess what? Congress didn't even write the Uniform Commercial Code. It has been acknowledged as commercial law binding upon all individuals involved in commercial transactions. This is commercial law we're talking about. Commerce! Okay? You don't believe me? Go do your research. Notice this one. That's why I was saying Section 109 exempt. The Department of Safety, known as the DMV, shall provide at no cost every non-commercial automobile owner. Now, pay attention. Every non-commercial automobile owner or owner of any other non-commercial conveyance with an appropriate decal imprinted with the words exempt. 9-109 exempt. The Division of Motor Vehicles, pay attention, Department of Safety, Division of Motor Vehicles shall also issue all non-commercial traveler a photo identification card at no cost with the words exempt. Exempt, so is your house. And you're supposed to declare at least. Now, if you're using a house for commercial gain, that you ain't exempt, sorry, because you're engaged in commerce. This is non-commercial. Where's the other non-commercial? Non-commercial. 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 Uh-oh. Or commercial. Okay. Three to Operator or driver means one who controls the movement of a conveyance upon the public ways for commercial or business purposes. I want y'all to have that definition. Take that definition. The next time somebody and wants to tell you what an operator an is, rebut that junk. You don't want to be an operator. And well, you don't want to be a driver either. Much. That's why you're You said that people can use the term driver. Yes, because Supreme Court has defined a driver to be anyone who is in the control of the automobile. So according to this, you don't want to be an operator or a driver because it's all contextual. So use it, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to say where it came from. Just give the definition and just tell them, prove me wrong. The same as I tell you, prove me wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've been trying to tell y'all. Oh no, this is Bruno. Okay, we're going to let him be in my background. Only for a moment. All right. We're going to leave this for a moment. We're going to go back to Eon. Come on, Eon. Hold on. No. Nah. Hold on, y'all. I got to pause y'all for a second. Yeah, the two don't want to work together. 
okay this right here it's the there we go We're gonna, we're gonna play that again. Bruno, hold on. Bruno, I said, hold on. God, he don't listen. Hold on. We're t what Eon is talking about, ladies and gentlemen, be quiet, Eon. What Eon is talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is when people do their taxes, they don't put down the right amount of deductions. So he's going to explain if you are living in a one person household, you should be at least claiming three deductions on your taxes. You, as head of household, you, as taxpayer, you, as a dependent. Me, myself, and I. And that's why he was doing. Anyway, if you're married, you should be claiming five deductions. You, head of household, you, taxpayer, you, dependent, your wife, the spouse, your wife, dependent. Okay? Just that simple. Each entity is a separate deduction, separate creature. It is not the same person. You as a person and you as a taxpayer, not the same creature. The law does not define them as the same. If it did, then it would be no such thing as capacities, okay? Each one has a different capacity. Comprehension? Oh, I understand a little bit, but it's kind of confusing. Well, what you have to understand is you look at the tax form. Well, as a matter of fact, hey, Eon, give, give us a second. We're going to go look up a tax form so we can show it to people so they can visualize it. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we'll leave that that way. What I want to do is we're going to go here. And we're going to show it to you because I know I'm a, 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 and we want the foam, foam, I'm a. So one second. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, again, another 41 degree morning. Yeah, this is no longer summertime. We're going to go to the form because I want to see the form. I don't want to have the PDF download. <clears throat> Sorry, got a cough. Well, that's not really a cough. That's a clearing my throat. My throat was itching. Your throat was itching? Yeah, my throat was itching. Well, what'd you do? Well, I reached down up in there and I itched the scratch and the scratch itched me back and that was no more itching scratching. Oh, itchy scratchy. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, as this form pulls up, many of you have seen this form. There are two ways for you to file your taxes. Like I said earlier, no one can stop you from being an entrepreneur. If you want to be an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, you have that right. Oh, no, no. I actually did a rap back in the day, and I spoke about an entrepreneur is not a skeezer or a slut. They fly at all hours. They don't give up as to the size or the color, how ugly you are as long as you got money and sounds and car. Never leaving them for nothing. Always taking it for something. Never giving it up because you know what the time of the month brings. Yes. So that's where the entrepreneur came in because I used to write raps. I'm sorry. What? I used to write raps, okay? This is one capacity. This is another capacity. This is a, well, you can't do both of these. Married filing jointly, married filing separately, unless there's a reason to file separately. Then that's another capacity. And if you're a widower, then you can't do this one. Okay, but that's another capacity. Now, hold on now. 
hold, hold on. That's three capacities up there. Now, let's say I'm not married. Well, that's two capacities. Ah, here's a third capacity. What you mean a third capacity? Because this is a taxpayer. Okay, this is a taxpayer filing. So this is the taxpayer. That's a third capacity. Now, if you're claiming yourself, see, that's why you get to claim yourself as a dependent, a separate capacity. Many of you don't even document it, okay, when you claim yourself as a dependent. So when you put your name here, your name goes here, your name goes here, and you put self. Why? Because this is your third dependent. You have the single and head of household, that's two dependents, and this is the third one. Ladies and gentlemen, tax exempt interest, I wouldn't be concerned about that. What I would be concerned about is the tax exemption itself, the write off. Where is the tax exemption? Well, ladies and gentlemen, should be number, where is it at? Not here. It's here somewhere. Where are you at? Exemption? I know it's on here. I do it all the time. It's up here. It's up here. It's up tax credits. No, these are the credits, y'all. Where's the exemption? It's up in here somewhere. Oh, God, I got to find exemption. Hold on. Control F. I can't focus right now. It did it. It found one of them. It said tax exempt, but that's not the only exemption, y'all. That's not the only exemption. Okay. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, let's see. L I V I N G. Oh, it don't have living. So watch this. E X P E. Uh oh. They don't have expenses either. So let's see what we can write off. I'm just going to look at the form. I ain't filled one of these out in a long time. Oh, wait. Almost 30 years, y'all. 30 years. I ain't filled one of these mother. Oh, well, no, I did fill out one 2017. Sorry, I did file for taxes, and I got like six thousand dollars coming to me from the IRS because I ain't never received my 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 my, my uh, government monies that they owe me. Oh well. All right. Don't care about Social Security benefits. These are standard deductions for single, married, uh, filing separately, and you get deductions. We're doing write-offs, okay? So it's the interest part that is my problem. But however, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Wages, salary, tips. The reason why you put your wages, salary, tips is because you can write that off. Go back and look up IRS tax topic 431. You have the right to write that off. I'm not telling you this. I just told you to go look at what the IRS is telling you. Okay? Capital gains and losses. Okay, then it says, this is your adjusted gross income. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. We're gonna look up this phrase right here because these are the two lines that I'm interested in. We're gonna look up this phrase. Because somebody said adjustments to your income after your cost of living is defined as gross income minus adjustments to income. Gross income includes your wages, dividends, and capital gains. Minus adjustments. What adjustments do you need to make on your income? Well, my personal expenses, my cost of living. It's not taxable. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. E followers. E followers. E followers. E warning. We're Robinson whining. We're Robinson whining. What's the warning for, sir? Danger. Danger. We're about to tread on some treacherous waters. Treacherous. Where is it? Adjustable in gross income. They even gave it an acronym. Is defined. Who defined it that way? As income minus adjustments. What are the adjustments? Gross income includes your wages. I get to adjust my wages? Yes, because they, you can't tax me on my wages. I have the right to work. And if I have the right to work, you can't tax me on my wages. Dividends, capital gains, business income requirement, distribution, as well as other income. Adjustments to income include such items as educator expenses, student loan interest, and student loans. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, you get to write that junk off and contributions to retirement account. Your adjustment gross income will never be more than your gross total income on your return, and in some cases, may be lower. Of course it will be. Because you're gonna write off those expenses. If you are filing and using the married filing joint income status, the $72,000 adjustment gross income limitation applies. Ladies and gentlemen, married people get to write off at least $72,000. Interesting, ain't it? Cost of living. I just had to find the word. Like I said, I haven't filled this out in a long time, but going over the form, I just had to find the word. And the word was, remember, when I was going over the document, I was looking for where the exemption was because it wasn't clear, but I do know it's section 10A, 10B, total adjusted income, 10A, adjusted income. Then you got to fill out the schedule for the adjusted income. Then you also get the write off charitable, charitable, char that, 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 deduction. Okay, but you also have some standard deduction, some basic deduction. But because you get to write off, pay attention, student loans. Yes, you get to write off the student loan and the student loan interest. Why do you get to write off a student loan? Because that is your right to education and maintenance. You have that right to education. All right, because it's not, you are not making a profit off of the education. Exempt. You are gaining the and education. And you're supposed to declare Come on back, at Bruno. least three All right. dependents for yourself. Now, it's just me, myself, and I. Qualified business, I, no. Uh, at lines 12 and 13 together. Okay. Now, if you were to add at least these two, household, standard deductions, an individual, then and if you're you'd married, be all right. Head of household, taxpayer, individual. This is the reason why you guys spouse. don't have no money coming. You got children, head of household, okay, taxpayer, individual, spouse. That's the reason why you guys don't never have no money coming back to you. Seven. Because you're not filling the forms. Deductions. Up. You're not documenting. Each yeah. entity, it's its own entity. Go okay. back and look at the different Start entities on there. Whichever one applies, you check it off. If you're a senior citizen, you get another. Let's see. Deduction. What there? Now, you see this says tax. Get your deductions, people. Ain't nobody that don't make no sense to this. me, so I ain't got to worry Why? about that lie. Because they It's got my job to go They're over there. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. This form was created. I'll tell you guys the truth. I just this showed was you the truth. It. You had one case where a judge says, uh -uh, okay. Congress can tax you. They used the These are your total code. other payments <laughs> and refundable adoption codes to prove that Congress can tax you.
an adoption code that talked about adopting children. This is the tax credit section. They didn't use an adoption code that talked okay. about you not being this able is to the tax do your credit taxes. Section. Do not let them do you that Other way. Other forms. Say instruction. Okay. Do not let them do you that way. Now, if so you have 1099 C's, my right what you to would live do is if mine. you had you some no debtors, over that. We're, okay, then show me where you and got you're the creditor, I don't talk then to you me would about add those statue. forms here. You better show me in the Constitution where the Constitution did not secure Maybe this right. Maybe you're going to have to read the because rules. Because as long as this right is secured, exactly you what have I said. no jurisdiction over my right. Okay. It's secured Just that in simple. me. See, I'm one of the people. If you do it right. My and you right don't is get secured greedy. in me. Some of y'all I'm a greedy. beneficiary of that you right. You don't deserve You're nothing. a trustee. You don't have any control over my rights as a beneficiary. You can always carry it forward. My rights I can carry are it my You can carry it forward. Ladies and gentlemen, your rights are part of the trust. That's why the Constitution is a trust agreement. Been saying that for years. Your rights are the trust res. Oh my God, I'm going to use that. You better use that. Your rights are the trust res. They don't get to trample on trust property. They don't have the right to trample on trust property, ladies and gentlemen. They're trustees. Their job is to protect trust property. Your rights are trust property. Oh my God, I'm going to use that too. I've been trying to tell you guys this for years. Why are you getting upset? I just said I'm going to use it now. Because you should have been using it years ago. God. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what you need to know. Go back, do an amended tax filing for the last seven years. Be careful. Document the proper numbers. Put your expenses. Work your expenses out for every single month. Now, once you send it back in, don't sit up there, oh, man, I forgot about all snap. No, you carry that loss forward. Now, you don't have to pay attention. You do not have to do an amended filing for each of the seven years unless the write-off is substantial. Okay? Unless the write-off is substantial, then you will have to. Other than that, you carry forward those write-offs, those losses. Okie dokie. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's another one of those videos. Like I said, I'm not feeling very well today. I'm feeling all right, but I'm not feeling all right. You know what I mean? All right. All right. I got to go. All right. All right. All right. I'm out of here. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Pay attention to this. Years. to a privilege what well what's that mean hold on what you mean hold on you gotta explain what that means what you mean i gotta explain i ain't gotta explain i ain't gotta do nothing but mother sorry ladies and gentlemen Shalomar is asking you to make that move and we're gonna be making that move to end in this video in a split second okay 
right now, baby. Because you only go around one, 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 once in a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as my computer lets me, give me, I'm going to pause y'all so that it gives me control. I'm typing, but it ain't letting me type. So I'm still going to have to put y'all back on pause. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a case known as Mulberry versus Madison. It's an old case. <sighs> Merely confers a privilege and not an absolute right. That's not what I was looking for. I'm not looking for what merely confers. I am documenting that no one can convert a right into a privilege. You have the right to live. Taxing it means it's a privilege. Okay, let's see. See, they said probation is not a right, but a privilege. Credit is a privilege, not a right. <laughs> Sorry, credit is a right, ladies and gentlemen. That's why the United States has the full faith and credit clause. Okay, credit is not a privilege. Credit is a right. And the reason why... Um, you keep seeing the same statement. Okay, it ain't giving me what I want, so. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, I know what I did wrong. N-O-T. I forgot to put a T after the no, okay? A T makes it not, without the T, it makes it no. Same word, just change it. And it gives me the same jump. So guess what we do? Since it wants to play games, we're going to do this. And tell me one thing for sure. Shalomar, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Cannot be said that Jehovah's Witnesses, literally. <laughs> uh, this is one of the cases where individuals were being arrested for knocking on people's doors in America. This is the case. This is another case. It says, in another case, the court ruled similarly that if the state converts a right into a privilege, a privilege is a privilege the citizens can ignore that law, i.e., when they tell you they're going to tax you on your cost of living. They don't have that right. Make that move. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. Okay, the privilege in question exists apart from state authority. It is guaranteed the people by the federal constitution. The state does not have the power. I didn't say it, ladies and gentlemen. 
let's do let's do this. Come on, baby. I used to uh know Mr. Howard Hewitt's family. Never met him, but I knew the young man's family. Come on now. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't even do this, ladies and gentlemen. But since it wants to play, we're going to put it right back where it was. No, it's right here. What has happened is my microphone disconnected again. Try people inside of me. Try to control my body. Not know they're there without a doubt because every once in a while they'll all speak out. This is patience because I know this case. Y'all saw the case law and it's not pulling up the case law. It's pulling up junk. Piquero Samba Tenombre. Polly Wahe Camigo, Pala Me Pali I could be a serious, but the serious wife. I'm living the. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Life. Okay, at the same time, it is well established that a state created privilege cannot be made to depend upon the surrender. cares about the 14th. The right is derived solely from this privilege or immunity. Fifth Amendment again, the privilege has been incorporated. Nope. Privilege clause, nobody cares. Oh! I see what's going on. It's focusing on a privilege. Hey, you, I'm talking to you, Black. Are you stupid or were you born like that? Come on. I'm sorry. UTFO was, when I first heard them, they first did Roxanne, Roxanne. That's how they became known. But I listened to just about every song they made. Tango got on my nerves because he cursed too much, so I couldn't listen to a lot of their songs. That's the Murdoch case I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's the case. The method it has chosen of privilege or corporation uh, occupation tax is constitutionally infirm under the First Amendment when applied to the respondent. Infirm, disabled. It is guaranteed to people by the federal constitution according to the respondents cannot be taxed for the privilege of doing that which is already a right to do. Lord have mercy. Look how long it took me to find this for y'all. And would any of you have gone into such lengths? This is a 1985 case, ladies and gentlemen. Now, pay attention. See, we recognize that the effect of this decision is to exempt respondents from the California sales tax but not the California use tax because they are a um, so-called state board. They're not the, the citizen, okay? Use tax exemption. Now, you saw they talked about it. You know, I love this song when it first came out. I just don't love the fact that they wanted to highlight the individual was gay and talking to his boy lover, whatever. We hear 
let's go ahead and do that right there. And now we do that right there. I didn't ask you for no complaint. Get that out of here. It it clicked on what I didn't want it to click on. Click on. Give me that right there, and give me that right there this time. You know, your videos are kind of long because I'm spending all this time trying to explain this stuff to people because a lot of people. They don't understand how the courts think, how the law is written. They don't, they, don't, they don't understand the basics of statutory compilation, how the statutes are put together, why Congress used the words they use. The fact that you all are being taxed, the fact that you all are being taxed on things you shouldn't be taxed on is because of presumption. Okay? Accordingly, the respondents cannot be taxed for the privilege of doing that which it has already the right to do, such as to travel. That's why we can say they don't have a right to tax you on your automobile for having it. The court further said that the company cannot complain of being taxed for the privilege of doing a local business which is free. It is free to renounce. See, it doesn't have to do business. It can sit up there and say, I don't want to do business. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have the right to do commercial business. Okay, that's what they're saying right there. You don't have the right to do business. That's why Congress can tax it. A tax should not be levied on the privilege already exercised and accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the right to live. You, The IRS cannot tax you. That's why the form is misleading intentionally. Okay? But what I've done is I've shown you that the wording adjusted gross income means that minus the adjustments. The adjustments is your cost of living. Watch this. We're going to do how is a cost of living index calculated? So, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually called cost of living adjustment. I did not write this stuff. Okay, I've not studied none of this junk. I just know that you have the right to adjust your cost of living. I've known it since I told you when I got my first job at 15. I went to a tax preparer and the person told me, no, you can't do that. And I'm looking, I bring him all of my receipts and I bring him all of my meals and everything. And he says, wait a minute, I have a job. These are my expenses for working. I have the right to take a lunch. I have a right to travel to and from work. Of course I get to write this junk off. I'm 15 years old and telling him that. Why? Because I've understood this all of my life. I cannot explain to you how I understood that at 15 because I don't have a lot of memories prior to the operation. But I remember taking all of my receipts to that man and him telling me, no, I did not have the right to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, of course I had the right. We just talked about adjustments. What I told you, you saw me read the form, told you I ain't filled one of these forms out in years. And I highlighted adjusted gross income. And I said, that's where it is. That's where you're supposed to be taking care of your junk, writing your junk off. So don't nobody question this man. Like I said, I'm glad we got rid of all the knuckleheads, the people who don't need to be anywhere near my videos. People do not call me. 
do not ask me, hey, 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 can you help me with this? How do I do this? How do I do that? That's not my job, people. It's not my job to explain to you how to do everything. Yes, I'm officially a tax preparer, but it ain't my job to show you guys how to do everything. Now, here's the other thing, ladies and gentlemen. I downloaded this program for me because it's going to let me do. It's going to. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the program that I'll be using is this one, and the fact that it has a credit section, which is exactly what I needed, and it has a couple other things that it has added to it. Other, do other programs do the same thing, okay? It's just a point of sale uh, program. What I wanna let you guys know is that there were four dogs that have showed up at my property, a mother, a father, and two pups, literally. While I'm doing the video, I'm hearing something outside, all the windows are closed, and I used to have the ability of helping someone take care of their two Labrador retrievers and I used to have some dog snacks and I still had some left over and I had them in the cabinet and so I gave it to them because I knew these they don't look like they've missed a meal but it does look like somebody couldn't take care of them because one of them acts only one of them has a collar around the neck the others don't and so I gave them water and they drank about three gallons and I'm fixing some of my terrazzi for them because I don't have any dog food. If they're going to be hanging out, I'll probably adopt them. All right, so I just thought I'd let you guys know. I don't know if they're going to hang around. I can't predict the future. I'm not going to put no chains on them or anything like that. I'm not going to lock them in an enclosure. They'll be free to do whatever they want. But the thing about it, the mother and the father are some pretty hefty dogs. And so if they wanted to, they could do some damage, but they're not. They walked up to me 
I, when I fed them, I fed them from my hand. Now, the same as I did with my dogs, I bring the food to their mouth, and the moment they try to snatch it, I pull it back and I go, ah, 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 ah. And I make sure that they understand that they're going to take it from my hand gently. The mother and the father did that. The little pup's a little timid, but they're trainable. See, that's what I do. And so I'm about to go feed these animals. I'm going to let you guys have this information. My hope is that you will be able to apply it, that it will work, that it will help. And I got to go back and listen to one of my other videos. So I will speak to y'all later. All right. You know what? I, I do have to check one other thing because, see, when my headset doesn't remain connected to the system, what happens is that the voice comes in choppy. Okay, and so that's why you guys have been, some of the videos, the voice is choppy, you can barely make out what I'm saying. That's the reason for that, is because of that. But right now, oh, 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 gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Where the party at? I'm sorry. Y'all have a good day. Take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you later.